Ah, early. Have a seat. I'll get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashida and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? What could all this mean? We screwed up. Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? I believe that you three are the Phantom Thieves. Now, what would the police think if they heard my recording? It'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. You'll tell me, won't you? I believe that time would just be wasted. Taking a leak? <laughs> Let's meet up at the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. That idiot! As loud as always. But his timing's perfect. I'd like everyone else to hear this as well. Won't you take me to your friends? I guess it can't be helped now. Oh. Hmm? Here? Is that girl a friend of yours? What? What the hell? What's the meaning of this? I had him lead me here. Ryuji Sakamoto. On Takamaki. And you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second. I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame, while those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals, after all. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. I... I know. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just... I'll erase this. She wants to make a deal. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Who? Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible. However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. Turning into a real pain. You were careless. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. Anything to say, Ryuji? Why are you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know? I'm so sorry. Hey, what should we do? That girl's got dirt on us. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. And even with that, there's no way they can prove our methods. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation, after all. 
Things would get rough if we didn't have our leader. And I totally don't want to deal with the police. Then, we have no other choice but to go along with it. Yes. It's best we agree, at least for the time being. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yeah, yeah. My bad. So, we doing this? All right. We're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? What about me? I could always sneak in if necessary. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. What could she be scheming? I was thinking you might not show. So, whose heart do you want us to change? A Mafia boss. Mafia?! What are you talking about?! That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. What's worse? Once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. Holy shit. It appears that their victims include some of our students. No! They primarily target juveniles. What's their boss's name? Nobody knows. The victims are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. That's where you want us to start? You should be able to pull it off. If you're really the righteous Phantom Thieves. Or is Akechi-kun correct when he says you act without justice? Can't you say something witty back at her? Why are you being so serious? Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. That's all the information I have. You have two weeks. Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. I hope you don't let me down. She really had the upper hand in that exchange. <laughs> don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Come on. We should get in touch with Yusuke. The student council president from Chujin Academy? Are you saying that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? That's not the issue here. Why would Makoto... Bringing up my sister to upset me, are you? It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. Fine. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. I'm so mad. The Mafia. Can we really do this? <clears throat> Either way, we have almost no information on our target. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? How? We're in huge trouble! Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for. Oh, right! That might make people believe in us. I get it. That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves. What do you say, leader? Hell yeah! We just gotta do what we always do. Our time limit is two weeks, correct? We can't afford to waste too much time. I'll ask around Kosei and see if there are any victims. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about it. Alright, and I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. 
You figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I'll back you up. All right, let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. I'll get in touch with you guys later. Hey! Miss President to change it up? You mean change our target? Just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. But that mafia is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. Ahn's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? They really have no talent. Never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. 
Anyways, I'm sure we'll shut to catch you up if we pull this off, but... That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. That's right! What about that journalist? You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh, yeah! I completely forgot about her! Didn't she give you her card? This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? There's no other way. Okay, let's contact her. Oh, yes. Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Eh, come on. Let's just go. How wasteful. <clears throat> Anyways, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? Makoto? Real? guys ditched me yesterday. I almost entered a world I want nothing to do with. What are you talking about? Nothing. Just start it up, Yusuke. Okay, I entered Kaneshiro's name into the nav. And just as expected, it's a hit. All we need now are the two other keywords. What he thinks of as his palace, and where it is. But we don't have any clues other than people falling victim around here. Eh, we'll just have to try whatever keywords we can come up with. Oh, it's gonna be impossible. How many buildings do you think there are in Shibuya? No complaining. 
we can figure out what the palace is, we may be able to guess where it is by association. Hmm. It's probably somewhere he's got complete control over. Maybe a garden? No candidates found. He likes money, so what about a money bath? I've seen people online with things like that. No candidates found. No, not even close. How about it? Can you think of anything? I see. Candidate found. Okay, that's a hit. So, he thinks of somewhere in this city as his own bank. I thought it'd be something less realistic. That's all it is, huh? Now then, what location would Kaneshiro think of as his bank? If we're talking about a place where he keeps his cash, maybe his own hideout? How about a real bank? His cognition wouldn't be distorted in that case. Damn it, we ain't getting anywhere. This may be difficult to explain, but doesn't it seem we're thinking a little too inside the box? Palaces emanate a passionate madness. It feels as though we're missing that aspect. What the hell are you talking about? This palace is a bank for someone who extorts money with criminal acts. It's something more... But what other ways can we think about it? Oh! Could it mean a place you withdraw money? Hold on. Do you think it might have something to do with the victims? He's taking money from his victims' wallets, right? That means his bank is wherever they are. That's terrible. But you may just be right. Oh, come on! How many people do you think Kaneshiro's taken advantage of in all of Shibuya? Wait a second. I have a hit. Huh? Oh wait, what? D did I say something right? The place that Kaneshiro thinks of as a bank is... All of Shibuya. What? Like, the entire city? I see. That's certainly where his victims are. It turns out he really is a terrible criminal. But wait, is it okay for us to go into the palace right out of a crowd like this? Eh, nobody notices if a piece of trash disappears from a trash can. This ain't any different. In that case, let's go. his cognition of people, so this is what Kaneshiro considers a bank. I never thought it would be the entire district. Look around us. The distortion is affecting the whole of Shibuya. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, that's right. Even when we were in the castle and the museum, the city outside looked normal. He sees everyone in Shibuya as his patron. No surprise for a Mafia boss. It's best we focus on finding Kaneshiro's location and stealing his treasure as soon as possible. Yeah, his hideout's gotta be somewhere around here. 
Let's go look for it. Let's go. Hey! Uh... Come on, man. couldn't find it. Kind of sheer doesn't leave any tracks, huh? Figures that it'd be floating. So, uh, how do we get up there? Can you turn into a helicopter, Morgana? No, just a car. You're useless! Come on! Don't you have some kind of secret gadget or something? Shut it! I'm not some robot cat! I mean, I'm not a cat at all! This may be the limit of what we can do today. We gotta find a way to get up there. Let's think about it some more tomorrow, okay? All right, we should get out of here for now. Run for it! I've been thinking lately. About those phantom thieves, I mean. If Dad were still alive... Sorry, I... I shouldn't bring this up while we're eating. It's okay. Keep going. I just wonder if he would have been on their side. That's all. The only reason you have time to think about that is because you depend on someone else. That's not... You don't have to do a single thing, and you're provided with food, clothes, a home. I've had no time to think on such ridiculous thoughts. Would Dad have been happy with them? I don't care. He died upholding some lofty sense of righteousness, leaving all his responsibilities on us. Uh, all I was trying to say was... Isn't it about time you grew up and acknowledged our situation? Right now, you're useless to me. All you do is eat away at my life. <sighs> Sorry, that was uncalled for. I'm just really tired. I'll be eating dinner out from tomorrow on. got nothing. Are we out of luck? 
It's no fair his palace is up in the sky. If only we could contact the real Kanashiro. Hmm? What do you want? Nothing in particular. I just saw you all together here. Huh, that's so. You seem to be having quite a bit of trouble. So you're here to check up on us? You may be the student council president, but when it comes to what we do, you're useless. Useless? Right now, you're useless to me. All you do is eat away at my life. To be frank, yes. Just stay on your high horse and watch. Or do you want to eavesdrop, since you're so good at it? <sighs> so you wish to get in contact with Kanashiro? That is what you were just discussing, weren't you? It seemed you just needed to find out where he is. Hey, you don't gotta answer her honestly. So you're just the good girl type to push over. Right now, you're useless to me. I'm not. What was that? Fine. I'll help you meet Kanashiro. What exactly is she planning on doing? She had a dead serious look in her eyes. Does this mean she has an idea as to where Kanashiro may be? I highly doubt that. I didn't like her stern face. Ugh, what is up with her? Too many people here. <sighs> We're never gonna find her. Hello, it's me, Makoto Nijima. Just stay on the phone and listen. Make sure you record the call as well. Huh? Who is it? Do you guys know Kanashiro? What? That idiot! What's she doing? I heard I could find someone named Kanashiro if I came to Central Street. Central Street! She's being too rash! What are you getting at? He's blackmailing the students of Shujin Academy, is he not? Tell him if he doesn't want me talking to the police about it, he better agree to meet with me. You got a death wish or something? He says he'll meet you. Get in. You better be taking me to Kanashiro. He said get the fuck in! Hey, wasn't that... It's the guys that messed with us the other day. So they were connected to Kanashiro. Is she still on? Contact Kanashiro-san. Tell him we got a good one. Where are we going? Yeah, I guess we can't do anything to her if she's Kanashiro-san's customer. Hey, I asked a question here. Where are we going? We gotta go after them! Ryuji, get a taxi. I'll... Okay, I've got their license plate. My sketching skills have come in handy. Ah, shit, he ignored me! Damn it, I said stop! Ryuji! Hurry 
up and get in. So, you're seriously the student council president of Shujin. You know what happens to anyone who snaps at me, don't you? So, whose number is this? Your boyfriend? What in the world? Who the fuck are you? Nijima-san! What the hell did you do to her? Oh, I get it. You got followed, you dumb shits! Holy moly! That bag you saw the other day, the crocodile one, how much was it? Mm, about three million. Better thank those guys. What? I'm royally pissed right now. Can you tell? You know how spending money relieves stress? It's you goddamn brats sniffing around like dogs and barging in here like you own the joint. See this empty space? I'm so pissed that now there's a three million yen gap here. It pisses me off even more if I don't fill it up. I'm a perfectionist, so... Good luck. What is that supposed to mean? Come on, you all look so tense. I think I'll call it debauchery of minors at a club. So, can I send this to your school? Uh, that's... Oh damn, I got booze and six in the shot. Maybe... Ah, oh, this is so hilarious. I feed on dumb shits like you. Understand, pretty little student council president. Now listen up. Run your mouth to the police, and I'll break all of you, starting with your families. I want to give you the usual month, but well, you have such a large group here. Three weeks. Bring three million yen by then, no less. Summer bonuses are around the corner, you know. It'll be easy if you beg your mommies and daddies. <laughs> now get out of my sight. I'm about to have some fun. What? To hell with that! Don't bother with him. Makoto's safety is more important right now. I didn't mean to drag you in like that. <laughs> For real? I was stupid. I must agree. You should have easily imagined this happening. Hey, Yusuke! I was so caught up in trying to be useful. Alright, enough of the blame game. What's done is done. I'm gonna cause trouble for Sis, too. Sis? My older sister has a commendable job and... She's a much more remarkable person than me. A lot happened after we lost our father three years ago. So it's just us living together. But I'm still a child. So all I am is a burden to her. Hmm. And that's why you were so reckless? I just wanted to be useful in some way to someone. You know, I might not get your whole situation, but ain't it a bit off saying that you're useless to her? It's the truth, though. In particular, I have to apologize for what happened to you. Huh? Now that I think on it, the truth about Kamashita must have been covered up by the whole school. I had my suspicions, but I couldn't do anything about it. No, I didn't do anything. Had I cared enough, I could have done something. <sighs> People like me must really be what others call scum of the earth. Real scum wouldn't call themselves that. Huh? 
I'm the same. It's just like you said before. I was closest to Shiho, but I didn't do anything. Besides, Kamoshida's the one to blame. Shiho understands that, and I do too. Takamaki-san. You didn't have a place to belong either. Me? We won't let anyone fall victim again. Now, what should we do from here? I'll do something about the money. So can we please just drop the case with Kaneshiro? No can do. We're all caught up in this. We can't have you rushing things on your own anymore and making the situation worse. If only we could do something about that bank. Ryuji! Bank? Oh, right! The bank! She isn't useless at all! She may be our key in! Hear me out, you guys. Our key in? What do you mean? A cat? Um, are you all okay? We've become Kaneshiro's targets. That means we've become customers of Kaneshiro's bank. I see. The reason why we couldn't enter before was because we weren't considered his customers. And wouldn't you say that she in particular is a special customer? Let's take her with us. She is responsible for our current situation. Whoa, I don't follow this at all. She risked her life doing something so reckless. At the very least, she has the right to know. Won't you come with us? What? Wait, to what? Yeah, where are we going? Beats me. A canine? It's Fox. Be quiet. The shadows are going to notice us. A monster cat? I'm not! That's Morgana, the cat that was in his bag. This is what happens when we come here. That voice... Takamaki-san? Where are we? We're inside Kaneshiro's... Uh, well... the world inside his heart. What? It's another reality in which Kaneshiro's distorted desires have materialized. Another... reality? the air Th this is reality <sighs> my goodness <sighs> I I'm sorry it's just but since this really exists I can't doubt it a reality that one's heart shows I is it like the application of optical illusions in social cognitive psychology that's something we have no idea about. I see. So stealing one's heart... That may be like... overriding their cognition. I think I kind of get the logic behind it. Ain't she more amazing than you? We're about the same! Then... Does that mean there's an ATM version of myself somewhere in this world, too? Perhaps. Regardless, we can change Kaneshiro's heart and make him confess if we steal his treasure. If it all goes well, that is. We'll make it go well. Everyone will notice us for sure if we take someone like Kaneshiro down. Our justice will also become resolute. Think we'd be able to give courage to those in need if it happens? For the sake of those in need, huh? You sound like my father. Your father? No, that don't mind me. 
You want to go to that bank, right? Let's. If I've become a customer of that bank, then they'll have to let me in. For real? It came to us. It's just as I calculated. You know how you can use your card to get into banks during after hours? I thought that I'd be able to get in since I have the same identity as such customers. I'm kind of Shiro's source of revenue, after all. Oh, that makes sense. Wow, this place is huge. I rarely gotta go to the bank, so this is making me kind of nervous. Being in a bank with costumes like these is so obvious. We are totally robbers. You got that right. It seems there will be a lot of shadows from here on. Huh? What's that about? Enemies attack us here. I see. I've trained in Aikido. Don't worry. I can defend myself. Self-defense won't do much good against shadows. But then again, it's better than nothing. We have to go in from the front, don't we? I'm an honorary customer, so I better act like one. I will be useful for you guys. Business do you have here? I had a feeling this would happen. Come at us. No, no, wait! She's one of Kaneshiro's customers. I'd like to speak with the bank president. Excuse me, but do you have an appointment? I need to talk to him. Now let me through. Let it pass. That voice. It's Kaneshiro. You mean a bank has a president? They make good money. Beef bowls could I eat with this? Unauthorized entry, property damage, and other disturbances. That comes to 3 million yen in total. You're here regarding that, correct, Miss Beautiful President? It must be quite tough gathering so much money. I'd be willing to give you a loan, you know. You gonna call it off then? No, a loan. The interest rate is 10% a day. 10% interest a day? Um, uh, that means... It's 300,000 yen. There's no need to be alarmed. 
I have a more manageable option for people like you. That was your plan from the beginning, wasn't it? Quite the impressive insight. Nijima-san. Or should I say, the younger sister of the beautiful prosecutor, Sai Nijima. How do you know that? Please don't underestimate our intelligence network. My, what a wonderful goods have come falling into my lap. Don't be ridiculous! Young women are so useful. They lack physical strength and are dumb. It's as if they only exist to be devoured by the strong. That just might be the rule since the dawn of history. You truly are despicable. You better be ready, Kaneshiro! We're gonna snatch your treasure from you! Don't make me laugh, you petty thieves. My Citadel has the highest security installed in it. Anyone will do anything for money. I'll rob you of your lives as easily as I breathe air. <laughs> Get them. Be in quite a pickle. How dare you sneak around, Kaneshiro? Those would be my words. However, I do thank you for providing me with such wonderful goods. It's time you disappear. <gasps> Managing a bank is tough. That's why I make it a case to kill troublesome customers. Having one impertinent brat disappear is enough to set an example in that other world. Please, stop! I'll eliminate others besides my goods. You've no need to worry. Your sister is quite a beauty, though. I'll make sure to make her my personal slave. Once I get bored, I'll just sell her off. Oh, poor sis. She could have been successful, if only her younger sister wasn't so dumb. My sister has nothing to do with this! Then you better start taking customers tomorrow. All you gotta do is endure it, and do as you're told. Endure it. Do as I'm told. You'll learn three million yen in no time. Although your life and everything along with it will be a complete wreck by then. <laughs> I've been listening to you go on and on. Shut your damn mouth, you money-grubbing asshole! <gasps> Have you decided to tread the path of strife? Yes. Come to me! Very well. Let us proceed with our contract at once. 
I am thou. Thou art I. You have finally found your own justice. Please, never lose sight of it again. This memorable day marks your graduation from your false self. What the hell? A persona? No, dude. It's a bike. I can feel it. Myself. Me! Got it! <laughs> wow! Nice! What is that? I've never seen anything like it. <clears throat> you better earn your keep, or else I'll kill you! I will not lose heart again. Ever. I'll go full speed, non-stop! Right, Johanna? We know how to get in now. Our objective's been accomplished. But how are we getting out? There's only one exit, right? What's up, Miss Post-Apocalyptic Raider? Do you want to get smacked? I'm going on ahead, so follow me. Damn. Okay, we have a path. Get in. So you'll stand against me no matter what. Very well. I'll wait for you all. There's no escape in reality, nor will you break through the security system here. There's not a snowball's chance in hell that a bright future lies ahead for you. was no Aikido. That was some hardcore ass whooping. I am so not pissing her off. I feel like she'll rip off my arm. She does exude that aura. Oh, stop it. This is the most exhausted I have ever gotten these past few years. But it felt pretty great. I never thought I'd become part of the Phantom Thieves I was after. Sis might faint if she found out. You mentioned her earlier. She's a prosecutor for the district, and she's investigating the Phantom Thieves. Wait, ain't that bad? No need to worry. A normal investigation would never lead them to a world like that. Then again? Must have been fate for this to happen. What do you mean? I can't be like my sister. I had a feeling that there'd come a time when we wouldn't see eye to eye anymore. I'm thankful to have a sister who works so hard, but... There are times I feel sorry for her, too. And after hearing my persona's voice, I clearly understand how I feel now. It appears you're not as reserved as you make yourself seem. I was just doing whatever the adults told me to. Won't she be perfect as our advisor? She's fearless and has a sharp mind. Sounds good to me. We've needed someone like that for a while now. I'd be honored if I can help out. We had way too much testosterone anyway, so I feel much better. It's 
from Kaneshiro. He's reminding us of our debt. So the Kaneshiro over here doesn't know what happened inside the palace. That's right. But his palace will be affected if the real Kaneshiro's cognition changes. We can't be lax. Seems it'd be best to avoid unnecessary contact with him until then. Three weeks left, huh? There's that security system, too. But if we pull this off, it'll definitely be great! We'll crush him like a fly. I'll make him regret making me angry. Anyways, let's begin our operation tomorrow. First, we need to secure a route to the treasure, like always. You guys are finally starting to get used to this. I'll be waiting for the call to meet up. So, what am I going to be called? You all were using code names, weren't you? You're quite perceptive. This time's a hard one. Maybe something like, uh, shoulder pads? Why in the world did you focus on that? I refuse to be called that. What about Ryder? Sounds too much like a smuggler. Next. Fixer? I'm not a mastermind, though. Now, won't you give me something better to work with? She reminds me of an empress. You got anything, Joker? Whoa, I totally see it. It fits so well that I'm at a loss for words here. Queen? <laughs> it has a nice ring to it. I like it. Let's go with that. Now then, could you explain to me the strategy for this mission? Uh, strategy? You don't have one? 
Wait, the Phantom Thieves were acting without any plans? Uh, we pretty much snook around the area. I provide navigation when needed. And then, uh... If we run into shadows, we beat the shit out of them. Very well, then. I feel like I'll be useful for sure. Seems my role is to be the brain of this team. I'll analyze Mona's information and give out orders. Any objections? No, none Queen! I bet Skull's definitely the type that'll be under a girl's thumb. Mona, will you begin navigating us? <sighs> yes, Queen! <sighs> Him too, it seems. Hold on, that would mean... Break here. 
I'll just add this. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I found this on the car. There's something written on it. Hmm? Um, but... I said, read it! <clears throat> sir Junya Kaneshiro, the money-devouring sinner of gluttony, you indulge in scamming others with horrendous methods that target miners exclusively. We have decided to make you confess all your crimes with your own mouth. We will take your distorted desires without fail. From the Phantom Thieves. I isn't this bad? What of it? I I if something happened to you, I mean, if the higher-ups find out about this, don't waste your time worrying about this useless shit. Just keep quiet for now. B but it's posted all around the city. People are talking about it online, too. <sighs> all of you, bring me your earnings. If you don't surpass your quota, I'll kill you. Y yes, sir. Phantom thieves, don't make me laugh. Hey, we're leaving. They'll pay for this. I see. Not bad. Change the entire room so quickly. <laughs> I guess this palace isn't a bank for nothing. Greetings. Welcome to my private city bank. I'm surprised you made it here alive. It seems you're quite lucky. Lucky? Don't be ridiculous. We're gonna change your heart and make you confess everything you've done. That'll save all those people who are suffering because of your shitty actions. Even the police are struggling to deal with you, so this will make the public believe in us, too. Those in power work the ones below them to the bone for money. Such is the hierarchy of the world. Just accept your fate as a source of my wealth. We'll never agree to that. And hierarchy? You have to be out of your mind. All of that was forced on me, too, you know. I went through shit until I crawled my way out of the dregs. Now it's my turn to profit on everyone else. Still, don't you think you're getting back at the wrong people? What a pitiful man. It doesn't matter whether you're clean or dirty. Only the clever come out on top. The strong and the smart devour the weak. That is the natural order of things. You damn brats who think you know the world through the shit you read online will make perfect prey. Huh. He is utterly hopeless. 
It's always the fools who get tricked. Fools who have to pay for their foolishness. And if those fools don't learn, or they have to suck it up and stay as plain stupid fools. Will you just shut it already? I guess there's not much point saying anything to you, fools. This is where my gracious lecture ends. Now then, I hope you're ready to work as slaves here for the rest of your lives. That's outrageous. <laughs> I'm gonna swarm all over you and squeeze out every last penny!
Looks like I gotta bring out my big guns! You're all buzz and no bite! <laughs> we'll see about that. Time to roll out! Here he is! My guardian robot! going to roll into us! Persona! Ravage them! Sorry. Take it back. You got me. 
Persona! There! Rush us again? Wait a second. We can attack Kaneshiro directly right now. Shouldn't we be able to stop the rush then? Perhaps we can drop him on it. Persona! Ravage them! Persona! We need my dog! Ha! Much thanks. Let's go. Careful. Persona! A big one's coming. us again? What do we do? Should we try distracting Kanshiro? As you know, Kanashiro is a money monger. Tossing an expensive item his way might draw his attention and serve as a distraction. Let's give it a try, Joker. It's your call what item we throw. Alright, Joker. Time to get that bastard looking over here. Let's try throwing this. <laughs> That's right. What is that? It's gonna shine something pricey. Go collect it, Pigatron! Right away! Getting rushed now. Nice work, Joker. Persona! There! What the Persona! Shiro's completely engrossed. Attack him while he's off guard. It's only right that a money monger like him is destroyed by money. 
Joker, time to get that back. Persona, go down. Power courses through me. Gain new power. Kaneshiro. I'm not gonna let anyone have it. This is my money. You stole it all from innocent people. Fine. I'll call off the debt. Fine? You're still sounding pretty condescending. You're right. I'm a poor, ugly idiot. How am I supposed to live a normal life like this? It's all because of our society! We people can't lead a happy life, no matter what they do! I'm a victim too, you know? Yeah, none of this is my fault! The more you talk, the more pathetic you sound. I just wanted a place where I could belong! You get that, don't you? Bullshit! All you did was surround yourself with people you could use, solely for some easy money! And you think you're the only one who's gotta deal with being labeled? Me? And all these other guys, we're all fighting against that! But don't worry. You'll finally have a place you belong. Somewhere you can make amends. For the rest of your life. We're gonna do something about that distorted heart of yours. Free of charge. I'm glad you understand. Now hurry up and return to the real Kaneshiro. Seriously? You guys don't have any tact. Especially with that incredible power. These palaces could net you loads of cash. You could do whatever you wanted to people's hearts. We're not like you. <laughs> Where do you find meaning in that naive sense of justice? You know, there's already someone out there taking full advantage of what palaces have to offer. What? I'll let you in on a little something. There's a criminal using other people's palaces to accomplish whatever they damn well please. They don't care about consequences. Psychotic breakdowns. Mental shutdowns. Anything goes. Is that... The same person Madarame's shadow spoke of. Spill it! Who are you talking about? <laughs> Don't even bother. You are nothing compared to them. Better be careful. A chance encounter with them could prove fatal. We can think about that later. Grab the treasure. There's no time. In that case, we should take that large one. Wait, what? Wow! Treasure! What's gotten into him? This is so cool! Wowee! Being a human is great! It's, it's, it's shiny, shiny gold! Let's 
Get it in, everyone! Hurry! Okay, all set! Fine! Wait, there's no road! So careless. Oh, I think I cracked my ass. On, are you all right? Is yours cracked as well? Of course not. Isn't it supposed to be though? for us to just charge out like that! <sighs> Everyone's staring at us! <sighs> Thank goodness nobody was hurt. Uh, I wouldn't say nobody. That briefcase! It appears to have been the cause of Morgana's demise. That's not what I meant! Isn't that Kaneshiro's? You mean his treasure? Hey, the light's red! Where should we open it? How about at karaoke? We'd have security cameras to worry about there. Oh, I got the perfect place! <sighs> That's right! I was just in the mood for some coffee, too. And we need to fix Morgana up. So warm. This place is oddly calming. Have you learned anything new? It's sealed by a rotary lock. We'll need the combination to open it. Yeah! A rotary lock, huh? <laughs> I knew it. How did you get that? I simply memorized the combination. I saw him open and close it so many times, after all. Well, that's scary. But amazing, too. Oh, that burns! Hey, hurry up and open it! Whoa. <gasps> How much is this? I believe one stack is one million yen. Huh? Thirty million yen. Even after splitting it, we still each get five million! Holy shit! It's gonna be deluxe pork soup combo for me from here on out! You have to think bigger than that! Not to bring down the excited mood, but does this money look real to you? What? Children's Bank! For real? I guess this represents how everything he did was an act to make himself seem tough. No! Well, hey, at least it feels like we totes busted this case, right? What do you mean? Is busting a case good or bad? Both! I think the reward for the Phantom Thieves is feeling they totes busted the case. <laughs> ah, how funny. Uh, hold on a second. Even though the contents were nothing more than trash, the case itself is quite nice. All right.
right then, let's sell it. <laughs> Glad we got that sorted. By the way, Morgana, have any of your memories returned? No, not at all. Come on, did that hit to your head make you forget even more? It's easy for you to talk. You're not the one who lost your memories. You have amnesia? Something like that. He does remember searching for treasures, though. Hmm. I hope your memories return soon, then. So... What happens next? First, we wait for Kaneshiro to have his change of heart. Ah, oh, it's gonna be big this time. People are gonna make a huge deal out of it, for sure. Hey, you know what Kaneshiro said at the end there? About that criminal using the metaverse? Yes, I was bothered by that as well. No point mulling over it now. Let's wait and see how Kaneshiro's change of heart goes first. We should probably just lay low for a while. I never thought I'd hear those words coming from you. About my request. How long is it going to take? This incident happened at the school you're supposed to be presiding over. <sighs> Excuse me, sir? We need to speak with you at once regarding the fishing organization operating out of Shibuya. Fine. I hope you remember who gave you that position to begin with. Our other operative gave us a list of candidates without delay. How different from a certain someone. Yes, of course. Please continue your investigation. you. Heed his words. You've defeated the repulsive fiend of gluttony this time. <laughs> well done. I am glad to see you have devoted yourself to your rehabilitation. You are not worthy of such kind words, inmate. I suggest you treasure them. Do you recall the whispers about that strange man? Even a chicken could remember something that important. Don't sound so cocky about it. This is about the cases of those people who shut down, is it not? Indeed. I speak of another with powers similar to yours. If you are to complete your rehabilitation, you may encounter him eventually. <laughs> Yet another thing for me to look forward to. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. It would be greatly troubling if you were to not strengthen your abilities. All right. It's time, inmate. Return to your world. <laughs> 